Hello super friends and welcome to DC TV Talk and in this episode we're going to be doing the video that I promised a couple days ago where I'm going to be doing my 1000 subscriber Q&A video. So I announced this, I think it was on Monday where I said, you know, in my 1000 subscribers kind of celebration video I announced, hey I'm going to be doing QA. Q&A. So I asked you guys to put some questions in the comments below of that video and I also put it on Twitter as well so I got a couple questions from Twitter also and I was going to answer them in this video because I've never really done anything like this before. You guys don't know too much about me in terms terms of other stuff outside of you know DC TV and films in the television industry so I thought I'd delve into that so that's what today's video is going to be about this is my q and I've got a handful of questions around seven or eight and I'm going to go through each one one by one and answer them hopefully in depth um, for all of them so I'm going to start off with the first question and I've got my little notepad here uh, also I'd like to just say a couple things for one i'm sorry about this headset i know it looks really stupid just kind of wearing these headsets and these face-to-face -face videos but thing is i record these face-to-face -face videos on my ipad and also you know i can't exactly plug in my blue snowball to that and also in terms of my commentary videos i know the past few have been very quiet in terms of my voice and i've finally figured out how to adjust that i finally fixed that problem i don't know what happened with it it just randomly one day just started being really quiet on me and I could never figure it out so I just kind of rolled with it but if you watch my video last night you will notice I fixed it so that that is solved now uh, I know how to get around that so uh, I haven't exactly fixed the issue but I found a way around it so that's all good so from now on it will all be fine um, whereas this mic is perfectly fine um, so the first question comes from RVGT uh, from Twitter where do you see your channel a year from now well, this is very interesting because it is a very unpredictable thing. You know, I a year ago, like literally around a year ago from now, was when I reached 100 subscribers. So in the space of a year, I've gone from 100 to 1,000. So with that logic, you know, I'd like to say that perhaps I would maybe like to get to 2,000 by this time next year. However, my channel and the rate that it's growing at this point, ever since I transitioned to doing DC TV full time, it has allowed it to just grow and flourish even more and I feel that 2000 may actually be a little bit low on that end and I don't want to sound cocky when I say that but I feel like it may be bigger than that come next year maybe around the 3000 mark or two and a half thousand mark so somewhere between there is where I hope to be but you know around the 2000 to 3000 mark um, and if we can get to that then that would be amazing um, but like I said YouTube is incredibly predictable when it comes to these things you can never predict how fast or slow a person's going to grow in the space of a certain amount of time it's just impossible to announce that and to possibly you know because you could have someone making videos that get you know 50 views on average but then they make one video that gets you know 10,000 views just randomly and that gets them a whole load of subscribers you know it's, it's just one of those extremely unpredictable things um so you know personally i'd like to see it gets around 2,000 3,000 subscribers um hopefully with a bit more collaboration stuff going on with other dc tv youtubers like i'd love to interact with people like pagey and uh, Boba Talks, I'd love to get around with people like that. Uh, I'm actually friends with um, DJ Eric, you know, I speak to him on Twitter a couple times. Um, so hopefully I can get involved with him sometimes. Uh, and also, of course, Ben as well. So it'd be awesome to kind of get involved with some more DCTV YouTubers as well. So they're kind of my goals for the next sort of year or so. And he also asked, what is my favorite superhero movie? Um, which obviously it's interesting because I do a lot of superhero TV on this channel, not necessarily superhero movies. Um, my favorite superhero movie of all time would probably have to be The Dark Knight. Um, and I know that's a pretty obvious answer, but The Dark Knight, it is incredible. I mean, The Dark Knight trilogy, if I could say The Dark Knight trilogy, I would. I love the whole trilogy pretty much equally, but if I had to choose one, uh, I would have to go for The Dark Knight. It's just, it's so incredible. The performances, you know, Jared Leto, why did I just say Jared Leto? Oh dear. Heath Ledger as the Joker is just fantastic. Uh, I love Christian Bale's uh, Bruce Wayne. I just think the whole story of it, the intensity you know the real realistic depiction of gotham was just fantastic in that film and i loved the whole trilogy but if i had to pick one it'd be the dark knight a uh, question from colin gibson how old are you he also said that he's around 19 so he's kind of guessing around his age i'm actually 16 and this is one thing that i get quite a lot is a lot of people think i'm a lot older than i actually am uh and it's because I've always been a lot more of a mature mentality. I've always kind of put myself across a lot more mature and professional. That's very much intentional. And uh, I also I think it's just because of my voice, the way I speak. I'm 
quite well spoken. I think that's why a lot of people assume I'm a lot older. A lot of people do think I'm 18, 19 when they meet me, when I'm actually 16. Um, I'm nearly 17, but yeah, 16 is where I am at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of around, around 19, but not quite, um, getting there. Uh, so yeah, 16 years old is how old I am. Uh, you know, it'd be interesting to know how old you actually all thought I was. Uh, so if you have any other, if you tell me how old you thought I was in the comment section down below, that'd be interesting to see. A uh, question from my good friend Mule Kick Media. Uh, which video are you most proud of effort wise? Um... This is interesting because a lot of my uh, videos on DCTV, I pretty much make the same. They are all very much similar videos just in terms of how I do them and in terms of the way they're made. And so, you know, I just do the commentary and then I put the images on top and the music. It's not really that difficult. Um, but obviously you guys know, of course, I have my second channel, The British Critic. There is a movie on, uh, there is a video on there, which I'm very, very proud of, which is uh, my you know, what happened to the DCEU video, you know, my big DCEU kind of video that I made a couple months ago. Uh, I spent many days making that, you know, so much editing and so much work went into that. Uh, I'm very, very proud of that video. That is the video I'm definitely most proud of. I also believe that is the best video I've ever made. Uh, if you haven't seen it, and you know, if you're a fan of DCTV, I'm sure you're a fan of DCEU. So go, um, go onto my second channel and uh, check that out. It's, it's a really good video, in my opinion. I'm very, very proud of that one. So even though that's not on DCTV talk, it's, you know, uh, because, like I say, all my DCTV videos, they're just made very similarly, so... But, yeah, that'd be it for me. It'd have to be, uh, the f it's called The Future of the DCEU, that's what it's called. Um, so it'd be that one for sure. Uh, this question comes from... What's his name? Seth Songs and Sarcasm, and he asks two questions. Um, first off, he says, I have amazing eyebrows, what's your secret? Well, that is a fantastic question, and, you know, what I have to say to that is nobody gives away their secret how they get perfect eyebrows, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, his other question is, what made you start YouTube? Um, good question. I started YouTube because I have always had massive amounts of opinions on all kinds of things, whether it's film, TV, video games, whatever it was, uh, but I never really had anybody to speak to in, about these things. Um, I mean, if, you, if you're watching this and you were here from the very beginning, you'll know I actually started out as a gaming channel uh, back in 2014 when gaming was kind of my biggest passion in life. Um, and I started that because I just loved gaming and I wanted to make videos on gaming. But then when I started doing it on film and TV, which was at the start of 2016, end of 2015, uh, the reason I started doing that was because... Oh, no, sorry, end of 2016, start of 2017. That was when I kind of relaunched my channel, if you remember that. Uh, the reason I did that was because, like I said, I never really had anybody to speak to about film or TV. No one ever in school ever really shared my passion for film or TV, so I can never really speak to anybody as passionately as I can and with the knowledge I have to anybody else around me because no one, no one got it and no one understood it. So I turned to the internet and obviously you guys, you listened to me and you found me. So that's, that's why, you know, I use it simply as an outlet to express my opinion. This is why I say when people ask me about this, you know, when I go to job interviews and people in, in my field of work and they ask me, well, why'd you do it? What'd you do that for? I always say, I use it as an outlet to express my opinion. I use it to talk to people who like the same things as I do and who actually get involved and care about what I talk about. And that's why I do it. And that's why I started my relaunch. Uh, in terms of, you know, starting my old channel, my old um, gaming channel when I first started it, that was just, you know, me having some fun, really. But this uh, this problem where I've really started to get into it and doing it properly and professionally, it was a way to really just share my opinion and talk to people who actually care uh, about what I like. Uh, a question from The Starks. He asks, um, future career plans. Um, this is interesting. Um, if you don't know what I do, I'll actually just get into this a little bit. Uh, I currently work two jobs. I work as a digital marketing executive for a marketing agency, which basically means that I advertise for businesses online. Uh, so that's my main job, and that's actually an apprenticeship, which means um, I work full time. So I work a nine to five job. Uh, I also get paid for it, but I'm also learning in the process. Uh, so that's what that is. Um, because in England, if you are the age I am, you have to stay in full time education till you're 18. Uh, so that's what that is. So I'm technically working full time, but I'm still learning kind of um, It's quite good apprenticeships because you can just you know You can go you can work and you can get paid, but you're still in education in a way. So it's quite good uh, I also work part-time at a restaurant as well as a, as a waiter slash busser um, Which if you're from the UK, you'll know it's called Frankie and Benny's. Um, I work there part-time as well uh, Just because I started that job a long time ago now and uh, I just love it there I, I, I'll probably never leave. It's just amazing. Um, 
I'd honestly, if you're from the UK and you're looking for a little part-time job, if you're like a teenager, I'd highly recommend going to Frankie and Benny's. They are amazing with their younger people who they who they employ. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. So in terms of future career plans, I really don't know. Um, you know, if, you, if you're kind of wondering about in terms of YouTube, would I ever consider doing YouTube as a full-time career? Um, I mean, I'd have to see where it goes. I mean, obviously at the moment, I'm definitely not in the position to do that. Uh, also, you know, I can't until I'm 18 anyway. Um, but also, YouTube is a very unpredictable thing when it comes to that. And I don't know if I'd ever feel comfortable doing it full time. I'd always feel like I'd have to do something else just in case YouTube doesn't pan out. Uh, but again, I'd have to see how it goes. I mean, I'm at the moment, I'm probably just going to stay doing my digital marketing and stay doing my part time job, however long I stay there for. Um, I may even go into doing you know, customer service and things full time because I love that job so much when I become 18, I'll try and maybe get in there full time. Uh, or I may even end up going to university because my dream job is to be a journalist. That's another reason why I do this is because it's like journalism and that's what I want to do. So I could try and get into uni and do a journalism degree. Uh, so again, I'm kind of weighing up my options. I don't really know at the moment, you know, I'm only 16, so it's quite difficult to kind of predict these things. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd love to be a journalist. If I could in any way be a journalist that'd be fantastic for me um you know because i am a freelance writer as well uh, i briefly spent some time at heroic hollywood if you know that website um which you probably do i spent some brief time very brief time at heroic hollywood uh, as a staff writer um and i do some freelance work here and there so i am a freelance writer i am getting on my journey to that but yeah uh so in terms of specific career plans i don't know it's just kind of waiting to see what happens and then my final two questions come from Superhero 2.0. First one is actually a DCTV question, which is uh, rank the CW shows this season. So what he means is ranking them in terms of quality uh, for these seasons so far. So that's Arrow Season 6, Flash Season 4, Legends Season 3, Supergirl Season 3. Um, so at the bottom, I'd probably go for... Ah, oh, see, I don't know. I think, you know, because I think a couple of them have been really good and a couple of them have been quite weak at the bottom i probably have to go for the flash season four i think the flash is very up and down this season in terms of its episodes like you know look at the past two weeks for example you had episode 15 enter flash time which was absolutely fantastic and then you had episode 16 run iris run which really wasn't so great it's just, it's very up and down this season so i'd have to go for that at the bottom following that i probably have to go for arrow season six although arrow is very much picking up now in its back half you know, it's only really picking up now. It wasn't really that great before. It was quite an underwhelming season of Arrow at this point, especially with all, you know, Caden James and all that. It really wasn't that exciting. Whereas now we have Ricardo Diaz, who's fully going into it. So that's awesome. So I, I think Arrow will go higher up in the ranking come end of season. But as of, the, as of right now, that's where I'm going to put it. Then at number two, I put Supergirl season three. Supergirl's been great this season. Like, you know, season one of Supergirl, I really didn't like. Season two was an improvement. Granted, it wasn't too great, but it was still an improvement nonetheless. But season three has been genuinely great. And I think that's just due to all the storylines we've been getting. The villain, Rain, was absolutely fantastic. Um, and I know I haven't been doing many Supergirl videos recently, but it's just because obviously it's been on such a long break. It's been hard to kind of do that. Uh, but yeah, Supergirl for number two. And number one has to be Legends of Tomorrow season three. Legends is amazing. It's so good this season. You know, Legends has just improved better and better and better each season. And I look forward to Legends the most each week. I think it's the most fun. It's the most exciting. It's got the most to talk about. Like, I've been making loads of Legends videos because I just think it's the most interesting. It's the most... It's got the most going on. Um, obviously, we've got Constantine in it this season, which has been incredible. We've got Wally West in it now. I just think Legends Season 3 has been, you know, wall-to-wall -wall just incredible. And it's just... It's it's not looking slow down until the end of the season. We've only got a couple more episodes left now, unfortunately. Uh, but I think Legends... It's my favourite at the moment, and it'll still be top come end of season, I think. Um, and there's also Black Lightning as well. Uh, Black Lightning Season 1... I I don't really make as many Black Lightning videos because it's just it's a difficult it's a difficult show to make videos on. But um, in terms of Black Lightning, I don't really count it because obviously it's not technically in the Arrowverse yet. I reckon it will be, but it's not yet. But if I was going to rank it, I'd put Black Lightning at the top. Black Lightning is fantastic. It's so well made and um, just it's very simple but so effective. And I love Black Lightning. I really look forward to that every week as well. And then Superhero 2.0 also asks, any advice for YouTubers? Um, so, you know, any advice for any of you guys who are looking to start a channel? 
Um, obviously, it depends on what you're going to do. If you're watching my channel, then I guess obviously you might want to do some DCTV videos. I think the main thing about YouTube is you've got to have passion and you've got to have a drive. You know, I, I mean... I make a lot of videos on two different channels as well as making my podcast every week and also tying down two jobs. It's, you know, you've got to have that passion. And obviously, most people don't work as much as I do. So you're not going to have, you're going to have more time than me. So if you've got more time, then you just need to put the passion into it and really have the drive to make incredible videos and really you know if you want to talk about these things you don't want to come across as if you're just saying words because you're just trying to get videos out you want to make sure because then if you do that you'll get sick of it and you won't want to do it and you'll have no motivation whatsoever and audiences you'll be able to tell so you don't want to do that you want to make sure whatever you make videos on you are passionate about and you love and you love discussing with people and you want to get on there and you want to talk about it and you know, enthusiasm will get you places. You will be able to grow because people will be like, oh, this guy, he really likes talking about this. I'm going to follow him because I also love talking about this, about this stuff. And we, there's like a community and there's an engagement there. Uh, also, don't go into this expecting a job. Um, that is the worst thing you can do. Do it as a hobby. Do it as something you really want to do. And then obviously, if something comes of that, then that's great. You can do that. But just keep it as a hobby. Like, I purely do it as a hobby. I don't make any money off of YouTube. Um, I, I mean... I could, but it wouldn't be that much anyway. Uh, so I don't make any money off of YouTube myself because, again, I just keep it strictly as a hobby. Again, it's just an outlet for me to express my opinion. So my advice for other YouTubers is just don't expect it as a job, but make sure you do it as a hobby and make sure you have the passion and the enthusiasm and the love and the drive to make high-quality videos for your, for your particular target audience. So that was my Q&A for uh, 1,000 subscribers. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You got a little bit more of an insight on me, you know, a little bit more about me and myself, my personal life. Um, and I think that's good. You know, I think, you know, for me, we've now reached a milestone with 1,000 subscribers. You guys have been following me for, you know, most of you who watch these videos have probably been here for about a year now. Uh, so you, you get to know a little bit more about me outside of my knowledge and, and love for DC TV. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy this Q&A. If you did, please give it a like. It'll help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for all of your latest content on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with all that said, guys, I hope to see you again in my next video.